Welcome back to Real Estate Mindset. Today's video is gonna be absolutely bonkers. Now, the data is in, and the first thing I wanna tell you guys is, Happy Sunday. I hope you're enjoying your weekend, what little we have left of it. Now, today's video, we're gonna dig in a lot, you guys, to really uncover what's going on with the quality of construction with Lennart. And we're not gonna listen to realtors, we're not gonna listen to builders or their sales reps. What we're gonna do is we're gonna dig into all of the recent, current, homeowners because who better to trust than people that actually purchase the property and are now stuck to the property. So we're really gonna dig into all of that type of stuff. And I want you guys to remember just how many homes Lennar had. And as you guys can see here, Lennar is building in 970 communities across the nation. Now I can reassure you guys that there's a lot more property being built that's not even on their website. So they actually have a lot more property than they're allowing us to believe. And don't forget this, Lennar is the number two builder in the nation, apparently reporting 20.8 billion. And as you guys can see here, Lennar is almost the number one builder. They're slightly behind DR Horton. So in other words, you guys, Lennar is a massive, massive player in the new home building sector. So a question that I'm constantly asking myself because I already know that these companies are overexposed because I flew into different metro areas like Seattle, not too overexposed in Seattle, but Phoenix, Las Vegas, Austin, even my own local housing market. So I know these guys are a lot more overexposed than people realize, but just how in danger are they? When I do a quick search on Google and I put is Lennar in financial trouble, this is what it says. Based on the latest financial disclosures, Lennar has a probability of bankruptcy of 14%. And remember you guys, and this is what I'm trying to tell you, they are hiding, in my opinion, they're hiding and not disclosing the reality of the situation. Canceled contracts, inventory that's not quite built yet, that's just sitting there. I think it's a lot worse, but according to this, Lennar has a probability of bankruptcy of 14%. But then again, Silicon Valley Bank probably had no probability of bankruptcy a week ago. But you guys, here's the thing, I get it. There is so much noise around the nation about, is it good to buy? Lennar is good, Lennar is bad. You have realtors, you have new home builders, you have sales reps spewing, in my opinion, hate and cheerleading, but the opposite essentially of what I'm saying. So we're gonna dig into all of the current homeowners right now and where I'm gonna start with is by accessing a video from homeowners that purchase new homes from Lennar and we're gonna see what problems that these people had and what Lennar did about it. Now, after this video, you guys, I'm gonna jump into several consumer reporting websites to show you guys what people are saying about Lennar as little as a week ago. And remember this, you guys, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just a normal guy, even though my bio is as a realtor, loan officer, and instructor, and even though I lost my house, which was a brand new KB home back in 2008, which led to bankruptcy, foreclosure, and repo. So I'm just saying, hold up a little bit. Don't do what I did. I made some horrible mistakes. I jumped into the housing market without fully understanding what was going on. Fast forward to today. The, the shocking thing is, is we actually do know what's going on. We can see that we're on pace for a worse crash. And yet people are still recklessly buying. And when people recklessly buy and they don't buy with confidence, it leads to buyer's remorse and potential financial problems. Anyways, you guys, remember if you can, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, shoot me a comment below, hit notifications, but let's begin by watching this video now. When Amanda Boyd, then her family, Morgan, bought their home in Cibolo. This is our first home. They were excited. We're like, oh my gosh, our first home. Like we can do our own thing. We can paint our walls how we want. And for this military family, the existing home is close to base and close to good schools. Things were great until they weren't. So that's as high as the windows go. Six months after moving in, they started having problems raising their living room window. Next time I went to open it, I can only open it at about three inches. Then they started to notice other issues around the home. So it opens, but it doesn't shut. When I started seeing the crack following the ceiling, my tile cracking here, my windows, one, two, three. my doors, it doesn't align anymore. The archway, separation between the brick. Amanda pointed out those problem areas that she says Lennar Homes considered cosmetic. This is the horizontal crack. And not related to foundation issues. All the way 
St. Lenard did, however, make repairs under warranty five years ago. Amanda believes her problems continued because the foundation was not addressed. They're trying to get out of paying for putting anything in underneath the home. Instead, she says Lennar Homes sent out a third-party structural engineer who found no issues with the foundation. They're stalling. When she tried pressing concerns about a possible failing foundation, she says she became concerned the warranty department was using delay tactics, saying... We have to at least wait, wait a year before we send another engineer out there. Afraid their warranty would expire, they hired a third party engineer themselves to inspect the foundation, who she says did find foundation issues. He recommends that um, the foundation be repaired. This is not the first time homeowners in her neighborhood have been concerned about foundation issues. Three years ago, we talked to a family in the same subdivision with the same builder who claimed the foundation of their home had cracked. We have huge separation here and then also some of the boards right here have fallen off. We reached out to Lennar about Amanda's concerns. In a statement, Lennar says the results of their third party engineer's inspection, quote, showed the foundation is performing within industry expected tolerances. So industry expected tolerances. Too bad they don't tell us that when we're consumers buying the house. Now, it's very interesting because in my opinion, Opinion. I don't want to get trouble here. Okay, I'm just going to share with you my opinion now. These people absolutely do delay tactics. They don't want to be stuck repairing a foundation. So it's very interesting if we listen to the story. Essentially, the warranty company or Lennar sent out their own people, a structural engineer. The structural engineer came back and reported no issues with the foundation. Now, when the homeowner spent the money because it's not cheap, they have to spend their own money to get their own structural engineer. When they're, according to them, when their structural engineer came out, they did list foundation issues that needed to be repaired. So in other words, you guys, it is a bit of a dirty game and you do have to fight if, you know, according to this, and we'll look at some reviews in a second, we're not done yet. Trust me, it's gonna get a lot more spicy. But this is one of the primary reasons you have to protect yourself. You have to fight for your rights. You can't just take people at their, their face value and assume that they're gonna do the right thing. If you assume that, you can almost guarantee they're not gonna do the right thing. But either way, guys, let me show you something else. So one of the primary reasons I'm making an even more detailed letter is because I got some blowback from, I believe they're sales agents at you know New Home Builders, because I posted the consumer affair complaints about Lennar, as you guys can see here. And I'm gonna go into this a little bit more. All right, so we're on the consumer affairs website now for Lennar Homes, and you can see that their rating right now is a 1.1. So 1.1 out of five stars. But again, let's see what people are having you know, to say about Lennar. And, and let's pay attention to some of these comments, you guys, because these are actual owners. So here's the first one. We purchased a new home cash. Before we signed our paperwork, we had noted issues that needed to be dealt with within the year of their own one-year warranty. They continuously say the work has been completed when, the fact, when in fact it is not. We have not been contacted when the workers have come to the house to do the work. They do the work and sign off on it with no one being home to verify that the work has been done. Once the third party has signed off that they have done the work and we notice it hasn't been done, we then have to put in a new work order. So, you know, what this is, you know, telling me is, is the people that are coming out supposed to fix the houses aren't even doing that. And they're not, you know, they're not doing it respectfully. So here's another one. And take a look at these dates. This is from January 11th, 2023. I'm extremely disappointed by the experience we've had with Lennar. This home building process was terrible. And I warn you guys of that all the time. We closed on our home December 13th and have not even started to live in this home yet. And things are already wrong. First of all, the build was rushed, obviously, right? The brick doesn't match on the outside of the house. Ouch. The carpet is coming apart. The window is cracked. The closet was not painted. The refrigerator is already having issues. Again, we don't even live there yet. This, the wall is cracking terribly again. This is a nightmare and I'm ready to sell this house and haven't even occupied it. I will say the sales team was great, but of course that's how they get you. So I really want you guys to pay attention to that because I've told you their salespeople are not even licensed like us. Their salespeople are essentially saying whatever they can to get you to close on the house. People are starting to realize that. And I'm trying to warn you guys, be careful who you listen to. These guys are so systematic on how they get people to buy their houses. The construction team 
is horrible. The construction manager came out to the site and the stuff still wasn't done correctly. Y'all focus too much on getting the job done fast instead of done correctly. So here's another one from December 26, 2022. Finding so many things wrong with this house. 500K plus house, I can write a couple pages about all of the no standard work from this house. Let me put it that way. From the ceiling vent that can't change direction because the caulking all over it to the nail on the stair steps poking your feet. And here's another one right here. Veterans beware. My husband, my husband, 100% disabled veteran. We signed a contract to purchase a home in Florida. When we initially wrote the offer, it included a contingency on the sale of our current home. But the sales agent told us that Lennar did not accept such contingencies and that the offer would have to be submitted without it. We did so reluctantly because we were in a red hot market and had no doubt that we would easily sell our home and buy Lennar's. We read the contract several times and missed the writing about financing not being, not being a valid reason for leaving the contract unless it occurred within the first 30 days of signing the deal. And even if we had caught it, we wouldn't have made a difference to our situation because we couldn't. Unfortunately, the market took a turn for the worst and homes in our area lost over $100,000 in value from June until now. You guys, this is December. 23rd, 2022 from an actual owner of Lennar. Why are we listening to anyone else? So they got pressured into purchasing a house. The, lend the builder would not let them sell their house first because it was a red hot market. So unfortunately, these people decided to still buy the house. Pretty sad situation, you guys. And not only did they decide to buy the house, they were stuck with their current home that they can no longer sell, that they may actually be up side down it. Guys, these are just some of the reviews. So let me take you back to my post and let me show you what happened with the back and forth on the post that I made in my community section. All right, so one thing I found really, really interesting about this is, let me show you guys, let me scroll down here. I basically had what I believe is a sales rep, maybe a current owner come on and say, oh, you can't look at consumer affairs. They're not credible, right? You need to use the BBB and things like that. So let me scroll down and get there. Jeez, there's a lot of comments. So here it is right here, okay? So let me read this for you guys uh, because these are people that are really saying this. You know, inked. I don't know who this person is, but the vomit coming out of their mouth is like shocking to me. Let me show you what these guys had to say. You do realize that 60 is actually more, but you do realize that 67 negative reviews is not even a drop in the bucket when comparing to the amount of homes that they closed in 2022. They closed well over 55,000 homes last year. Why not post any of the happy reviews and let your viewers decide? And here's the thing, Inked, because there are no positive reviews. I went there and I think there were two three-star reviews and it was overwhelmingly bad reviews. But the beautiful thing about it, they sold 55,000 homes. Where are the positive reviews? Where's the positive reviews? So anyways, they go on and on, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you know, there's hundreds, there's thousands of more reviews. And I put the funny thing is, is out of the 55,000 homeowners, I don't see one positive review. Am I missing something here? But look at this, guys. Look at this, this person goes on. This is so funny. This is going to bring us into the next segment of this video. Um, so this person goes on. Possibly if you use a credible source, such as the BBB, our new home source, you will get true unbiased facts, like their comment is biased, right? BBB has them close to four stars, just as well as new home source. Both are national unbiased reporting sources. So what I decided to do is like, okay, let's go to the BBB and uh, let's see what the BBB has to say. So I went to her own source, right? This, this hater vomiting this delusion all over our community section. I was like, all right, fine, calm down, Travis. You wanna grow, you wanna be sharp. Maybe she's right, let's go to the BBB. Let me show you guys what I found on her own source. Look at this. All right, so what we have here is we have Lennar Homes, LLC. Okay, look at this. Look at the stars, look at the rating. This is the just, this, this rating service is just as bad, you guys. So I went to this lady's you know, source, she's like, they almost have four stars, but according to this right here, they have 1.19 stars out of five. We have 206 customer reviews. Let me show you guys a couple of the most recent reviews, and this is astonishing, guys. This was, this was what, a week ago? A little over a week ago, this was from March 3rd, you guys. This is from March 3rd. This just happened. Let's see what they have to say. Wow, buyers beware. Just because Lennar is unethical doesn't mean they can't get away with it legally. Lennar at Asher Point in Arizona tried to force us to pay $60,000 over appraised value on their home. Closed two months earlier than, than what was in the sales agreement and forced us to close even though we didn't qualify for the loan with our current 
home mortgage. And they're keeping our $15,000 earnest money deposit. My family and I signed the sales contracts and two weeks later, Lennar pulled in our close date by two full months. And the, you know, when I'm reading this, I'm immediately thinking, where's the representation? Do you guys, do you guys see what I mean by, you know, get someone to rep you because they play games like this all of the time. This is absolutely crazy. Now, the reason they wanted the long close date is like the other comment, they needed time to either rent or sell their current home, but then enlarge and care. They had their $15,000. They understand you guys that they can put people in this pickle and, and give them that additional pressure because they got $15,000 of theirs. $15,000. This is crazy. This is why, again, you guys, you need to really get representation. And I just want to point this out. Even though that, you know, B, you know, even though Lennar has 1.19 reviews, look at, look at BBB. Look at the rating, A plus rating. How is it, how is it an A plus? Does this mean A plus rating? How is that possible? And I won't even go there with BBB, you guys. I mean, it's crazy. But look at Lennar's response. Thank you for taking the time to share your feedback with us. And I'm sorry you're unhappy about your sales experience. I've opened a corporate case for you and notified upper management to review and assist. That's it. That's all they wrote. And that's their response the entire time. This response was given four days ago. All right, so that's Lennar's general bullet point response. Let's look at another review. All right, here's one from February 27th. So what is that, about three weeks ago? Less than three weeks ago, Garbage Builder. Had to have my upstairs AC serviced five to six times in the last year and a half because it doesn't work properly. At closing inspection, they were informed it was not working at the level it should. They said it is at the bottom baseline and won't fix it. How are you going to sell a brand new home with faulty appliances? You guys, we're not making this up. Listen to these people. They are the they are the actual owners. Th these are the people we need to be really paying attention to. So this kind of goes back to what I was telling you that I saw in Phoenix and in Las Vegas. Half of these communities, you guys, don't even have sales agents in them. It's it's just it's really just hard for me. I'm so sorry, guys. It's just really hard for me to put this into words because this is a super duper expensive purchase. And if you don't purchase right, if you don't purchase confidently, if you don't find a, you know, a good deal or a great deal, I got to tell you guys, okay, you put yourself at risk of foreclosure or financial ruin. And I hate to say it, I'm not trying to get people to freak out, but I just don't understand how so many people forgot to pump the brakes, understand this is the biggest financial transaction of your life. And you should treat it like that. The Federal Reserve is very clear what's going on right now. The housing market's resetting. Things are getting crushed right now. We're having bank runs, you guys. We, we, there's so much that has just started. We're only in the second inning. Purchasing right now can be the biggest mistake of your life. So we're using three sources here. Here's Yelp. They have 24 reviews and they have less than two stars again. So do you guys see a trend here? Now, obviously it starts out with, looks like this is sponsored. I don't know if this, these are sponsored comments or whatever, but I'm gonna keep scrolling down, you guys, to the real comments. And I've selected newest first for obvious reasons because I don't want to read fake reviews, right? I want to read new current reviews. So anyways, guys, I'm not going to bore you by reading this. I'll have the links in my description. You guys can lead this. It's just basically about Lennar playing some dirty games. Here's a one star. Here's another one star. You know, this is March 1st. This is February 25th. They got pictures here. Here's another one. I'm over the age of 50. Customer service is clueless. I mean, the list goes on and on. I wish I'd give them a, a zero status. This is Irvine, California. This is Rancho of Cucamonga, California, you know, home buyers beware. So here's the thing. In my opinion, there's no question, even though it's the industry standard, maybe the standard needs to be increased because look at these reviews. These reviews are weeks old and they're absolutely terrible. So we don't, again, you guys, we don't have to guess anymore what's happening. We now have more and more proof from the people that matter that are on ground zero, which is the current owners, right? Not only that, remember this, 75% of people that purchased, which was roughly 12 million Americans, 12 million Americans that recently purchased, roughly 75% of them have buyer's remorse. Listen to the people that have recently purchased before running out and making a decision to buy. And you guys, I understand that different markets have different trends. I get that, right? That's realistic. And that's why I'm constantly telling you guys, become an expert in your local housing market, get help from a realtor. You can use realtors for free. You know, interview some realtors, have them do the market analysis, have them do the rent analysis, but educate yourself guys. And in the meantime, if you're on the sideline like me, do this, be happy.
I know maybe I don't look happy, but you guys, I'm trying to be happy. I'm trying to be balanced. And also love your life, work on your mindset, not only become the expert, work on your credit, your income, your assets, and above all else, don't rush. Do not rush ever the biggest financial transaction of your life. Now, other than that, guys, I really hope you guys got some insight, value, and perspective from today's video. And if you're out there investing in real estate, you know I wish you luck, and I hope you win.